My vagina has pigmentation. My upper thighs also have it and they're heavy also. It looks so ugly. I hate it down there. How can I ever have sex with this body? Can I bleach it or do some cosmetic surgery to make it better? Is it safe? My friend says everyone has dark patches down there. Is that true? I cannot even ask my mom. She'll kill me if she knows that I'm looking at myself down there. You know, it breaks my heart to see the capacity that we women have to hate our own bodies because in all of these years, not once has a man written in to me asking about a penis whitening cream. And yet hundreds of women write in to me about exactly this issue, ready to whiten, tighten, mutilate their bodies in order to fit in with a beauty standard that doesn't even exist in real life. And so in response, yes, your friend is absolutely right. Every adult, regardless of gender, regardless even of species, has genital pigmentation. It's just that the degree can vary. So if you ever see an adult with completely pink genitals, please understand that that has been artificially created. Two, you mentioned how can you have sex with this body? Let me ask you a question instead. If you were making love to someone, would you in the middle of it stop to check out their genital pigmentation? No, right? In the same way, your dark patches are literally going to be the last thing on your partner's mind when you're having sex. Three, no, it isn't safe. Procedures that either whiten or tighten your vagina can have any number of complications, including the possibility of destroying your sensations down there. And finally, I'd love to say to you, now that you've heard all this, go out there and be proud of your own body. But I know that's not the easiest thing to do. So today I'm going to give you a little tiny technique to help you along that path. So here's what I want you to do. Every single day, I want you to dedicate a short amount of time to actually look at yourself down there. See, we've been made to believe that our sexual organs are dirty and so we never look at ourselves down there. And so very occasionally, when you do catch a glimpse of your sexual organs and they don't look anything like you've been made to believe by porn that they should, they don't look all pink, it comes as a bit of a shock and you start to think that you're abnormal. And so when you start to look at yourself more regularly, whatever you see starts to become more normal to you. Once you get used to looking at your own body and not shutting your eyes because you think it's not all right, that's where the journey of self-acceptance begins.